All right, so my friends, welcome. Uh, Pro Tour testing. As you're watching this, I'm already in Chicago. I believe I should probably be playing in the Pro Tour already, according to my little handy dandy content schedule for what I did for while uh, while I was uh, while I was gone. And uh, I got to practice. I got to prep. It's Pioneer Pro Tour. So uh, obviously, watch this. Then go watch that. Hopefully, I'm doing well. And of course, one of the biggest decks in the format is Arclight Phoenix. And uh, we're gonna play a league with it. Not much to say here. Obviously, the Phoenix deck is very very good. Uh, Pick Lock Prankster, big new addition from uh, recent sets. And uh, Deck's good. Phoenix, Shredder, play much spells, get him back. You get the idea. Love Crackway Drake, though. So, let's uh, get right to it. Before we get started, I want to remind you about my new sponsor, Anthros Chairs. And uh, if you're watching this in the future, obviously, my chair comes like tomorrow in two days. It's like before I leave, actually. But I'm super excited about it. Um, got to sit in a dream hack and just phenomenally comfortable. This bottom pelvis support here. It's not a lumbar support, it's pelvis support. Lumbar is like digs in my back. My pelvis is my issue, so I have, I have terrible posture. But super excited about it, super high end chair, and uh, it really is. A, you got to take care of yourself. You know, it's an important thing to uh, take care of your body. You sit for your chair in chairs for hours and hours and hours, and Anthros is a great way to uh, invest in yourself and your health. Check them out, uh, Anthros.com. Promo code Jim two hundred for two hundred dollars off your order, and you'll see me in the chair probably next time I stream uh, when I'm home, which is great, and uh, looking forward to it a lot. So check them out. Anthros, again, anthros.com. Use promo code Jim, 200 for $200 off your order. It's an investment. Make it yourself. All right, on the play, and uh, we have just an atrocious starting hand. Uh, two cruises, four lands, and a torch to towers. Not where we want to be. Uh, so, unfortunately, we're going to mulligan this lands and spells hand, which kind of sucks, but like, just is what it is. Um, give me one sleight of hand that I'll probably keep this, but with only a torch to tower uh, and these two cruises, this is not doing anything for a while. So, I'll mulligan this. Mulligan into uh, three lands, much better. We've got uh, Shredder, Axe, Arclight, Pismari Command. We're going to keep this. Ship Pismari Command and uh, just going to do our thing. Opponents on seven cards and we are off. Spiral of Canal, so you go. Hand needs action, but we have 12 cantrips in our deck. So, Voldaren Epicure, you got it. Take one. And we draw. All right, so land sucks, but we got Shredder. And if they're playing Boros, they're gonna play two spells for sure. I get to discard this Phoenix, try and find some uh, some action here. A little light on action. Remember, folks, hit the like button, support the content. If you want to see me do well at the Pro Tour, well, then hit, hit some buttons, do some things, all right? And uh, support me uh, whether I do well or not, you know? They play some Mugwars, Copper, and say, yo, is this a mono red deck? Like, a, maybe a Madness deck or something? This is crazy. Another Arclight Phoenix, man. We are uh, stinking up the joint here. All right, so play a Lava Guide, just attack for one. I mean, if they fire up Copter, we'll just we'll just uh, axe it. It's guarding a Phoenix, but we need some gas here. The good news is, like, you draw one cantrip, it finds another one, it finds another one, and so on and so forth, so. But hit that like button, support the content. I know Magic Island's not the best to watch, but I got to play actual Pioneer to practice for the Pro Tour. So again, I'm recording this like you. So here's the deal: we are right about here. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday right now, and you're watching this here. Uh, so or no, here, here, Pioneer Phoenix. See, that's the plan. I'm ready for a Pro Tour. I have ten days of content to fill. It's a lot of work. So uh, you're in the future. I'm in the past. You're dead. Axia, Axe the Copter, Discard of Phoenix, F6. We're gonna see two mana for a Shrapnel Blast. Cool, what is this? Like a, like an artifact aggro? Oh, they're just, they're just freaking, they're just playing a uh, in Soul Artifact. All right, sure, that's fine. Obviously with the two red lands, it looked a little weird, but all right, well, Sleight of Hand is here. Right, let's just start there, I guess, that's Slight. Prankster or Shredder? I mean, Prankster plays. All right. Let's just go for it, right? Take Prankster. And we're just going to play a uh, Pathway. And we're going to play a Free the Fey. And get ourselves a Treasure Cruise. One, two, three, four, five. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Unfortunately, the Phoenix is the seventh card. I think I want that Phoenix back. Yeah, that stinks. All right. 
Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, let's take slide and. Kind of sucks, but. Yeah, I chose it. Give me, give me it. Put it in my hand. Let's go. Slide of hand. All right, take the consider. All right, so. Brings back Phoenix. Um, let me attack. The thing is, that, like, it's only two power. If they play in its soul artifact, I'm not chump blocking, so I might just get in, you know? See so, yeah, how next turn looks, but. Mapping. Shivan Reef. Dark Steel Citadel. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. That's one I have not seen before in a in Soul Artifact deck. Goblin Shaman. All right. They're coming in. All right. We go to our turn. And we drop. And opt. So, do we hard gas Phoenix? Or do we just start playing cantrips? Um, and if we hard cast Phoenix, do we stay back on D or do we go in an offense? A lot of interesting questions to ask here. Um, casting prank is also reasonable too. I think I'm going to cast the cantrip. Let's start to consider. See a prankster? Sure. On top of that. Make it lucky here and bid over a Phoenix. That'd be great. Free the Fae. Fire Impulse and Lightning Axe. That actually works out really well. This is fake. So take Lightning Axe. And then we're just going to axe this uh, Goblin Shaman. Discarding a Phoenix. And right to combat. Ship the Burbs. They get to do a little uh, Fabling. Starting two copies of Shivan Reef. Got it. Turning those map tokens into cards. Dubs Prankster. This card's really good. Very sneaky little card. You can't cage mischief. Blood away a steam vents. Man, they are really, really digging here. Case of the Filched Falcon. Make a clue. At the end of a turn, they will solve it if they have three artifacts. They do not currently have three artifacts. They only have two. Never mind, they got two cases. So, double case that will solve both of these. They're managing to make a 4-4 cre a four, four flying artifact out of a clue. It's pretty good, actually. All right, so... Can't do it yet. Only one card left. They're coming in. Sure. It works for me. Might be double prankster next turn, we'll see, but I'm on the wrong scene. Sorry about that. Thinking about it. What do you want to do? Come in. Fifteen. Good old so solve the case. Take him away, boys. Hey, I'm the chief here. Take him away, toys. Steam vents. Let's guess opt. Op reveals sleight of hand. I'm going to top it. I'm just casting both these, pr these pranksters, I think. Just, like, deal my six damage. Put them to four. Just like be a 13 with two good blockers and lethal on the board. You're up. You figure it out. You know, like. Crack a clip. They can make the Dark Sail Citadel into a 4-4 uh, a four, four, four Indestructible Flying, which is pretty good, but. Reflection. Cost three, though. Three's a lot. And Soul Artifact, the clue. Okay. But now they can't... Huh. Let's play Land yet. 
They have not. So in theory, if they have dub shrapnel blast in their hand, we're dead. Uh, right, I'm just gonna block. We have a good chance of a kill next turn. If we sight a hand to our rule spell or phoenix, we kill them. If they have blocker and then blocker if they have a land, sure. All right, so they have a four four citadel. We untap. That does it. Yep. Get out of here. Oh, shit, let's cast our spell first in case. So I hand first. Consider. All right, sure. Otawara says... Get off my plane. Get out of town. Here they come. You're at four. The Burbs. The Burbs are back in town. The Burbs are back in town. <laughs> All right, so Pony's playing... Interesting looking version of Insoul Artifact. We have two main deck Prismari commands. Pretty big deal. Uh, Borrower bounces non land permanent, so it can't beat a Dark Soul Citadel. And one Fable on our board. Interesting. Um, bringing Crackling Drake is just like kind of standard most of the time because they're going to have some sort of graveyard hate probably. Um. I think the Temporal Trespass and maybe a Cruise. It's like hedging against Graveyard Hate. Um, don't think I want Anger of the Gods. Kind of an awkward card, right? Because like it exiles the Burbs. Uh, usually you play like Brotherhood's End or something like that in the boards. So kind of, these, these lists are... The, yesterday's Control list and today's Phoenix list came in first and second in the challenge last weekend. So, you know, big, huge Magic Online event with lots of players. So... I mean, Spell Pierce is also not, like, great. Um, I think we need a more controlling stance against them. Something like this, maybe. Um, that Trespass and the Galvanic's kind of bad, too. Let's take this out, maybe. Third Drake. Disputes aren't bad, either. It counters some of the uh, Soul Artifact kind of cards. Borrowers. Again, it's like, okay. I think Borrowers fine. I'll make the Borrower. All right, let's try this. Not sure exactly, but... Also not sure exactly, like, exactly like what's in their deck, but... All right, so awkward hand here with Double Pathways, but we can keep this. But I'm looking at six. We're going to keep. We'll figure it out. Slide a hand all day, you know? Just keep playing Candor so you figure out what you want. Spire Bluff Canal. Epicure? Sure. This is cool. I guess we're a little soft to a uh, turn to in soul here, but there's sleight of hand. Lightning Axe, Ledger Shredder. It's tough because uh, if they have in soul, I want the axe. If they don't, I want the shredder. Hmm. Nothing profitable to discard. I'm taking the shredder. Let's try and figure it out. We could always double impulse if they have the insole artifact as like a, you know, a backup plan. Looks like they might got it. Nope, Kaysen. All right. L E S. Uh, okay. All right, they've solved their case. Well played, detective. Well played indeed. All right. Uh, play Shredder. Sega. Two cards left for them. Obviously, a handful of removal. There's a bugbear. Can't even act. This thing, it's activating for three is a lot. It's like four mana total for Insole Artifact. Uh, we're gonna block. They gain some life. That's totally fine. We're gonna play an opt. And bottom anger of the gods. Draw Crackling Drake. Do love Crackling Drake. Um or probably gonna guess Fire Impulse, honestly, so. Yeah, let's just uh opt again. Surveil. Or whatever, connive. Slight and Yeah, it's not an anger matchup. I'm scared of the anger. Or an anger game, I mean. And Prankster. Prankster's probably gotta go top, right? It's pretty good. 
All right. So now I have a 2-4. They're going to have a 4-4, four, four, which I guess is what it is for now, but let's attack for two. And I guess we'll just leave impulse up. Double impulse is also like we could double impulse over the target. They're just going to go. All right. I'm just going to impulse here. Let's take this bad boy out. Let's go. 18 life. Feeling pretty good. Old Shreddy. This card's so good. I like, forget how good this card is. I haven't played it in a while. Should I play a Fable? All right. Sure, I guess. It's fun. Untap and draw a... Another Shredder. Oh, let's shred it. Shred it. Shredder. All right. Play this. Slight of hand. Double connive. Uh, discard Lightning Axe. I don't need that. And discard Steam Vents. Top two. Prismari Command. Love it. And then, um, I guess it doesn't need to happen right now, but this is fine. I probably should wait it, actually, but whatever. I guess they tried to equip it. They're not going to equip, though. But they're more likely to draw a counter spell than they're to equip it, so. Alright, I mean, next turn we have Prismari Command. We got Prankster. We got Crackling Drake. Feeling pretty good here, honestly. And they can, like, pants up a artifact. Um, I guess if they, if they put it, the counters in the Citadel, it's a little annoying. But as long as I can't put this Shadow Spear on there also, I can Prismari Command that, so. Keep the Shredder shredding, you know. Got to find some Phoenixes. All right, so I got a 4-4. Four, four. They're in. All right, 4 damage, you got it. I guess my... Uh, my Shredder just blocks it, too, right? Like, it's a 3-5 three, three, now, so... All right, untap. Slight of hand. Two damage is, uh... Not doing anything right now. Just got a slight command. I might just make a treasure. Oh, I don't have to get countered, either, so... Oh, okay. Sure, coast. One card left, huh? Oh, I want to kill this thing. Ah, uh, I mean, I screwed up. No, I think I'm fine. Actually, I can, I can, uh, Prismari command. I should, I can't, I can't do everything. All right, this is fine. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna play the coast. I'm going to attack. For one. So our goal is going to be to Prismari Command, the Shadow Spear, and the Fable. Downside is, of course, if it doesn't work. Uh, if they have like a counter spell or something like that, that'd be pretty bad for us, but. Gotta kill this too, so. All right, before blocks, we're going shatter, and we're going two damage. Please don't have a spell pierce. Nice. All right, blocking. Shredder's taking a day here, my friends. The shredders shred. No citadel, sure. Crack the clue, sure. Oh, I just started getting a clue. In a case, you got it. That's a little scary, actually, now that they have two 4 4 instructables, but that's fine. Untap. Opt. Let's Drake opt. Cast Drake, draw a card. Drake's gonna one shot them anyway, so. Alright, guess opts Lutskis. I, I stacked that correctly by accident, <laughs> thankfully. Uh, discard an Arclight Phoenix. Discard a. Sh Not put a land yet. Yeah, it's right with this. Alright, top card. Love it. All right, let's play Spiral Canal. Just say go. 
Ah, uh, no, we'll get it. We'll get it for two. The Drake will probably one shot the next turn, but like I think that we could just get it for two here. Leave one blocker back. Yeah, one card and feeling pretty good here. Oh, is that, I'm sorry, that's flying too. Right. I forgot that it's flying as well. It's not just some solar artifact. Okay. We have a little more work to do then, but it's fun. Blood. Funny, it might actually be like Free from the Fae, Cast Prankster, Bounce Prankster. All right, two, four, four, Flying Indestructibles. But I guess they're back on D. Almost indefinitely. Right. Free the Fae. Consider or another Free the Fae. Hit Arclight too. How about we not play a land first like an idiot? That's fine. Uh, free the fight. Can I have? Can I have? Let's go to land. Yeah, let's go to land. Free the face says cruise. Yeah, we're, we're cruising now. We are cruising. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, blue. Oh, yeah. All right. So, uh, we're getting back. How many phoenixes? One, two, two phoenixes. There are 12. Block this and this. Three, six, seven, eight. Not good. Not quite good enough. Um, yeah. So we just say go here. It's so funny how bar we're so bad against these. Uh, that's fine. Just cast a prankster and say go. Ka! All right, no attack. So if I got everything, they block here and maybe here and take four, five, six, seven, that's ten. Yeah, just say go. I think it's like really hard to lose from a spot. So like, which is not, you know, throw creatures away or whatever. Like, triple shot the blast up the only out, honestly, so. Yeah, it's pretty good, yeah. All right, win the die roll on the play. And, uh, stands fine. You can keep this. Um, no cantrips. We'll find some cantrips, right? Turn to Shredder, maybe an impulse. I like a Monogre Devotion was a deck. This would be like, you know, the perfect hand against them. Kill their one drop. Play some threats. Not really a thing anymore, though. All right, so we'll supply with Pronounce. I go. Ship it. Excuse me. Mana Confluence. Okay, this is just uh, the Amalia deck, I guess. Scouts can explore, and it's a Skyclave. Alright, sure, I guess. Uh, Shredder me up. Prankster, yeah, pretty easy Shredder, I think. Shredder go. Um... We have Free the Fey Impulse on their turn, which is pretty sweet. Shredder also is a Wild Growth Walker. Um, yeah, I'll block. Uh, I imagine that uh, Second Fire Impulse. All right. I mean, like, you're on the risk of a... Uh, in theory, Prankster could hit enough spells to uh, kill the Walker with... Maybe, maybe not, honestly, but... All right, and then do I want to, I'm just gonna say go. I'm not gonna attack for one. I wanna do this on their turn, I think, so. I have a better idea what's going on. Beginning combat. And they're just gonna say go with, uh, I assume Court of Calling up. So let's go end step, free the fame. Uh, a lightning axe it is. Okay. Take the axe. 
Um, I guess we're gonna axe too, like. We impulse the scout, it forces their hand on their cord of calling. What do they cord for? I don't know. Um, and I can axe the walker on my turn. Let's do that. Impulse this. Get a shred gun. Discard and Arc Light Phoenix. They're gonna cord. Court for two. I'm honestly not sure what they're getting. To be totally honest. Getting a combo piece. Just gonna get a Malia? Alright, I guess, sure. This seems really good for us. I just massacre all their creatures. Like, I guess. So we draw an opt. So we just opt axe impulse and try and find a uh what's it called? Uh, consider it's been it. And draw a spire bluff canal tilt. So op axe impulse. So we're gonna impulse the Amalia. Pay three life, whatever. Yeah, I'll pay. And then we'll connive. Cruise is pretty nice. Um I think I want this land for the cruise turn next turn. Because Mario Command's like pretty bad against them, right? We're really super interested in that. Just keep the cheap cards. So get rid of this. Kill this. Thanks for axing anyway, so. Alright, whatever, sure. Axe this. Y yeah, this is. Do I want the land for more mana for my cruise turn? Yeah, I think I do, actually. Alright, let's go this. Alright, so. Combat. Burb. Unsurprisingly, Lightning Bolt is good against the all creature combo deck. So they go. Now they have Land and the Rally the Ranks card. They can return both of these, but it doesn't really do anything. So they need a Soul Warden effect also. So I think we're doing good here, but I'm putting it like a lot, honestly. I haven't played Pioneer really since since, since the RC like a, a thousand years ago. So another cruise, eh? All right, we're going on a cruise. All right, blue. Leave two spells, draw three cards, another shredder. That's not a very good cruise, actually. Uh, all right, let's shredder. Connive. It's kind of ugly, actually. All right, uh, yeah. They have a company here. Gotta be sad if they just like company in the combo and step. Alright. Let's shock. Play prankster. Say go. Don't company into the combo? Like, they need a lot of pieces. I guess, like, if they just company to a life gainer and they have the, the ranks card too. Company down to three. Voice Walker. All right. Voice not super relevant, really. They have no life gain producer at the moment. Well, I guess if they uh, bring back the scout and they return the ranks. Okay. So they now get to combo. That's bad. Uh, all right. Did I, like, not play this game as carefully as I could, maybe? I'm not sure. So they combo, they kill stuff, they get a bunch of life. They have an infinite-sized Amalia. Can we still win, is the question? Probably not, right? Yeah, I'm just going to see. Whatever. I don't think we have anything good anymore. All right, that's fine. All right. That's shitty, uh, honestly. I didn't enjoy that. Um, we're going to bring in Anger of the Gods. We're going to bring in the hearse. And then, like, maybe a drake or two. 
No, no, I don't think so. All right, we're gonna cut. Uh, these it's funny. Spellbears is good against their companies. Company and cord. It's not bad. I would say Prismari Command is pretty crappy, as is the iteration. I think I'm not interested in Time Walk. I guess they have Graveyard Hate. They probably don't have Graveyard Hate. These all go. I think Spellbear stays, actually. It might just be this, honestly. Leave it the Time Walk. Um, you have a lot of removal spells. Alright, let's try this again. That didn't feel very good, honestly. Our hand was like pretty good, but we still lost. Uh, on the play. And Anger, one lander. You can keep this, though. We have Hearse and Anger with a sleight of hand and ops and stuff. It's pretty sweet. Anger is a little awkward here, but very good against them. So, sleight of hand, no land. That's not good. This also exiles it, right? So, all right. Exile removal, obviously huge against uh, the return of the ranks, so. I mean, if there's no land in my top five cards, there's not. All right, I guess whatever. <laughs> That's fine. We had five looks at a land, couldn't find one. Here's a voice, sure. I mean, the anger's teed up. If we can just, if we can just find a land to cast it. That is a land. Okay, so... Problem is we need another land. Alright, I'll just cast the opt. Might as well bottom this and just draw the next card. Cool. Alright, so... We got Anger rolled up. Uh, despite missing a land drop on turn two. They don't play into it. I can always go Shredder Torch and just like grow Shredder to four, to four and like kind of like try to conceal the fact that we have this anger. Maybe Torch the Voice. I don't know. We'll see. Torch the Veteran to stop them from some comboing out of nowhere. Like if they just go land Amalia Court for Walker, we just lose, right? So that'd be gross. You know, whatever. What are you going to do? Not the best anger of all time. I'm not gonna, I can afford to not take this anger here. Uh, because it's pretty easy in the combo next turn. Otherwise, just one piece and a, and a cord, it will do it. Yeah, alright. Take the anger three for one, say go. <clears throat> Yeah. All right, veteran Walker, no land, sure. This is great for us. We just go uh, Shredder and then Torch the veteran. Connive. Discard Phoenix. They land too. Um, I probably want to consider. We'll say go. Got the hearse now too, so feeling pretty good about that as well. Here's Amalia. Guess we need to find an answer, right? Uh, bottom number being consider land. Prankster. All right. Free the Fae. We just freaking whiffed. We just freaking whiffed. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, free the Fey again for a one mana removal spell, please. Connive. Discard a Phoenix. We get Spell Pierce. This is ridiculous. This is insane. How do you brick so hard? Uh, we're in. We just need to find our rule spell in, this, in like the top eight, car, uh, ten cards of our deck or whatever. All right, I guess. Um, any explore effect, and we're dead. Or way to gain life in some way. Really? So they have a cord? They have a cord. Alright, so untap and draw. Found their removal spell. Great. So. Alright, let's just play hearse. Fiery Impulse the Amalia, right? Um, that's the important part, because we have, they have a life gain for it, so... The Explorers are harder to find, sure. Let's Fire Impulse the Amalia. Force them to cast a core if they want to, I guess. Make a little noise here, huh? Come on, I can't hear you! If we could draw a spell off the like Kanai, that'd be great too. I have a core, it's like hard for them not to use it, right? Like. I just know I have this. There's one less creature. We have all four phoenixes in the graveyard. So, just like any spell. <laughs> or combination thereof. It's funny, because me casting spell peers would be a spell for the phoenixes, which would be great, obviously. So, really weird game. Three cards in hand. All right. Here it comes. Maybe. Oh, just kidding. Appreciate you all uh, watch the Magic Online videos. I know they're not as exciting as the Arena videos are. If you're here and you're watching, the code word for the comments is Armadillo. If you type Armadillo in the comments, I'll know you watched a large part of the video. God, we drew another land? Jesus, man. All right, I'm just going to ship this haul because... Yeah, ship the haul. Kill the Amalia. 
Nope, they're going to go for it. All right, sure. So we're going to spell Pierce. And then I just wish we had another spell. We just don't. It just sucks. We'd have, we'd have, they'd be dead if we had literally any spell here. One picklock prankster. All four phoenixes in the bin. Kind of a preposterous game, honestly. Return to the ranks is a sorcery, right? Check it out real fast. Yeah, okay. Don't want to get cheese balled out my hearse and play. They play a mana confluence, sure. I guess company, I guess. They're going to cord. Just cord for an Amalia and kill us. Pretty frustrating match, not gonna lie. Um, whatever piece I would have killed, they just went for us. Why, why do they think so? I'm according that. Like, they've they already had another cord. Like, alright, I guess he got me. Alright, that's fine. That's kind of crappy, but whatever. All right, on the play, opponent's a Gigantha Gamer, and we are, uh, I can keep this. You have Sleight of Hand and Consider his looks. You can keep this, this is fun. Hand could be anything. All these cantrips. Pay two, Sleight of Hand. That sucks, but... Take the land. Let's there you go. Pick lock prankster will figure it out. Spiring vantage. All right. Boros it is. All right. Let's take go here. We spell beers up, which is kind of nice too. So they go for demolition. I get to uh, counter it, which is huge. That they'll turn off most of their nut draws. The one three is good against them too, honestly. It's freaking one three getting in there, you know, poking for one, block some crappy one ones. Take one. Okay. Is there more, or is this it? This is it. Oh my god, opponent, we gotta do better than this. Free the Fey. We bricked again? What is the hit the fail rate of this card? That's insane. That's gotta be such a... Hold on a second. <laughs> 4, 8, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 33, 1, 32, 33 hits. So you have to lose a favored corn flip four times in a row. Jeez, that's ridiculous. We've been to Phoenix at least, but oh my god. Alright, so untap. Draw Torch the Tower. I mean, leaving a Skull Pierce is pretty nice, honestly. I'm gonna cast the cast Prankster. Live Skull Pierce. Let's do this and say go. Not a huge rush to try and cast Phoenix. Uh and like you know, playing Cantor, Cantor, kill your thing is not super awesome. Try to look for another Phoenix, maybe. I think this is a pretty nice turn. Get the chill. Demolition. Oh, yeah. Get off my plane. Smart and good looking. God damn. Get the hell out of here. But I'm not being a jackass. I am very smart and good looking. All right, sun tap. And start. Ooh. Just missed it. We have an axe, I guess. But all right, let's guys consider. Uh, that's literally insane. Considering a Phoenix of the Graveyard is the most busted thing in the world. It is one mana in Tomb Cantrip. It's so broken. Alright, Opt. That one we can't really discard. We have the axe, but I'm gonna bottom this. Heh, <laughs> great. You told me that was coming then, you know. Alright, I'm just gonna kill one of these. They're gonna pack it up real soon here, I think, so... Attack for 10, and uh, yeah. 
pretty good, pretty good draw. All right, so let me play a second land next time. So we're gonna bring in our uh, our angers, maybe a few drakes, in fear of graveyard hate. Uh, we're gonna cut the iteration, cut the the trespass. Why is this sorted by freaking color? Iteration, trespass. Spellbreaks was obviously good there. I don't think it's particularly good though. I guess it's the same thing, right? All cards cost one, but um, I think Spellbreaks has got to go. So, just like decks, just all our mobile spells. Only have two sweepers, but still pretty good. Yeah, man. All right. Um, thank you, Bis. Axe Phoenix, double cantrip. We're at a little risk of ruin here if like their hand's insane, we like miss a land on the first opt, but here's Epicure. Alright, spiral canals are nice. Alright, so pretty good. Your land's nice. They have the stones here. Uh that's not great for us, but Looks like they don't, because they're attacking. Epicure. Uh, okay. I think we axe now. Yeah. Just like kill this thing before things get out of hand. You just play a shredder next turn. Get set up. One less creature for convoke and stuff too, so. They get their scry. I screwed up. I shot them scry first and then killed it. That was dumb, but uh they top anyway, so. Let's play shredder and say go. They have one turn to like really go off here, I think. And then I can start chaining ops, possibly returning a Phoenix. Pillar Verge pathway. Wow. Got torched by poor birdie? That's that's something. Alright, that kinda sucks, honestly. I only got two cards left though, so hopefully they're not good. Warden again? Okay. Opponent's game in this time around. We can still draw Fire Impulse and kill it, though. That'd be good. So, we're going to opt for Fire Impulse. Help me out here, please. Letting Axe works, too. So, just go land. Opt. Treasure Cruise. Yeah, we're going to keep that. Then we're going to opt again. Fire Impulse. Going to keep that one, too. Yeah, all right. And just Fire Impulse this. Bring back the Burb. I think I'm fine attacking here. Not quite yet, there yet on cruise, but will be soon. Have an axe, have the drake. Locks it on, sure. So they've improved their epic heroes into actual creatures. We draw a river glide pathway. Pretty sure I just cast drake here. Um, Yeah. Like, set up for next turn draw consider sure and then do we want to arc light phoenix attack or no i almost just happy just jumping with the opinion honestly i'm just gonna say yeah next we have consider axe cruise kind of gets you to do the works do love me some crackling drake uh no lies there so i can jump if they were to put like a recipe or something here, that would be pretty bad, but it wouldn't be the end of the world. It would be it would be not good, but if we could like you know, consider axe away the cruise and stuff, but yeah, they were good here. So we got uh an island to start. Let's start by cast and consider. And let's look and bin a sleight of hand. We're gonna draw as many cards as possible. Hall of the storm giants. It's awkward. Uh we can just axe all land here and then cast cruise. Might dump the hall. Hall's worthless against them. So, target this. Discard the hall. The 
one card left. It's cruising time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's not Arclight Phoenix. This card's pretty messed up, you know. Prismari Command, consider. We guess what? We guess consider, sleight of hand. Okay, consider. That's okay. That's good enough for me. Ah, uh, sure. Game. <laughs> Blouses. A Gigantha Gamer and out of their one lander, we're going to keep it. Pathway makes it sound a little worse, obviously. Pathways are kind of rough in this deck, honestly, but. Spire Bluff Canal. Combat Courier. All right. A lot of the same stuff over and over again, honestly. All right. We're going to play, uh, play this and say, yeah. We, uh, I would prefer to slide a hand to look for a land, but I want Spell Pierce for turn two and Soul Artifact if possible, so. Smuggler's Copter. That plays too. We'll take that. Get off my plane. All right, so drawing a land be cool. Nope, Ugh, that's like the worst possible draw. Slide a hand for a land, cool. Pay two and just say go again. Good old clue courier. Come the sirens. Sure. Whacking. Whacking indeed. Alright, so we're just gonna uh fire impulse the whacker. It's fine. Take four. They have two cards left. Untap and draw land? No. Not a land, unfortunately. Um, okay. I think we... If they have a in soul for the Citadel, we are kind of in trouble here, honestly. Let's opt for a land. It's not a land. That is a land. Alright. I think we're in trouble. Yeah, if they have in soul artifact for the Dark Souls Citadel, we are in some doo-doo. Galvanic iteration. I, gotta, I hate this card in this deck. I've always hated the time walk iteration part of the deck. It obviously can be good, but like when it's bad, it's so bad. Shrapnel Blast the Shredder and play another combat courier. It's like oddly effective. Are right, we could like Galvanic Double Lightning Axe, I guess. Like they have nothing. They have nothing left. I mean, oh my god. Alright, this ad is about as bad as it could possibly be. Um It's all instant speed, I guess. Just say go. All right, sure. Really ugly end. About as ugly as it gets. 11 life, though, and they have literally nothing. They have a couple 1-1s, one -ones, so... I guess I've given the opportunity to sacrifice this now. That was probably stupid, actually. Uh, yeah, it's fine. What's the card you do, friend? Spire Love Canal by Gigantha. Okay. Not. Does no one play Gigantha? I don't understand. It's right there. Just buy it. Like. Alright. Uh, untap. And. We might have land here, honestly. Just cast the Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> this is 
is going to go down as the most awkward game of all time. This is embarrassing. That was that was not a good game. Uh, it did not not work out very well for us. About as bad as draws could possibly be. All right, so iteration trespass gone. Spell pierce is a really interesting one. That I'm not sure about. Um, well, like angers and drakes. I think Spell Pierce is too narrow. Let's try this. Like, maybe we want Spell Pierce. It's like, it's better than the draw, even. I'm not even sure. All right, on the butt. Hello. Opponent. Armadillo. Double Hall's pretty gross, but we're going to keep. Alright, so leaning a little bit on this opt uh, to produce some uh, positive velocity for me, but. Love it. I feel like that uh, Torch really won, really, really won, won my game. Can he kill my Shredder last game? We're going to wait. Wait, it's Torch Show 3 or 4? I was, I was going to mix that up with the other one. Torch Show's 3. Yeah, Voltage Surge Show's 4. So we can we can go End Step Prankster, and then we'll go Shredder plus a 1 drop, and can I have immediately? Let's do that. Eighteen. Yeah, I guess. Uh, okay. Man, wish we had access to the anger of the gods. All right, so free the Fey. We whiffed again. We hit four lands. This is impossible. Inconceivable. <laughs> Actually, impossible. I'm sorry. I refuse to believe that that just happened. <sighs> Any one mana removal spell, please? Or four drop, that's good too, I guess. Oh my god, this is unbelievable. Um Alright. Here's a shredder, say go. It would be very, very hard to draw worse uh in these in these last two games. Needed literally a spell that costs one. <sighs> Guess I like could have cast the prankster. I should have cast the cast the prankster. But once I missed, yeah, I probably should have just run by the prankster. If two cards left and they didn't use their map oddly, it's kind of weird. Consider. Okay. What 
We can ax Cruz here. All right, sure, whatever. Not feeling great here, obviously. Yeah. gods here and then still hit more stuff too yeah we're just freaking dead all right that, that's that's a tough match all right sure whatever all right on the play hands good keep we got the old spell pierce consider fix put mulligan six so you go We're really looking forward to Pioneer being on Arena. I'm not going to lie. Spara's Headquarters. Okay. Consider. Bend the axe. And my axe. Alright. Uh, yeah. Need a little, uh, a little less of this, but sure. Just no, like, you know, Grixis try on um, one mana binding, please. Baseju. Whole righty then. Attack for one. Say go. Field. Really? Alright. Sparse headquarters in Lotus Field? Oh, maybe they're playing the 1 3. Uh, what's it called? The Stern Proctors. It's good for me, obviously. Odawara. Once again, Armadillo from all my uh, people made the whole video. That's how we're going to do. We're going to add a word to it. This is the final match. You've made it this far. The real code word is not Armadillo. It's Armadillo Cloak. That's the real. It's just, it's just insane. All right. Uh, time for one, I guess. Like, we're drawing bad, right? Like, our draws have been really, really bad. I mean, drawing both spell pierces against a combo deck is nice, but, like, not when we have literally nothing else. It's like a 17 land deck. Like, all of our cards can't trip. And step impulse. It's funny because I don't want them to find... I'm just going to get nervous. I don't want them to find a freaking Lotus Field. Like, Salt Pierce is not very good when they actually are comboing, so I'm just stopping from doing it. There's your Proctor. They've already played a land, though. I'll wait till my turn so I can try to get, get a Knife. If I draw a spell. It's good. It's very good, actually. Playing Proctor, it's, like, good against some stuff, but it does certainly open you up to uh, removal spells being a thing against you. Discard a thingy. Um, I want to cruise soon. Just gonna go to the bin. It's five. It's six.
Uh, so we're going to have six in the bin. Spell Pierce up. Ups our clock, too. Sure, let's do this. We can just cruise here, but I'm just going to wait. So... Good against the Amalia deck. Other decks with creaturey ETBs. Armadillo Cloak. Okay. Uh... They just like trying desperately to resolve a uh, a Sylvan scrying here. You got me. Mana burn for two. Are you kidding me? This is this a joke? <laughs> That's it. I'm going to clown college. Okay. All right, so uh, we're going to cruise. Galvanic sleight of hand. Huh. I guess we'll just cast sleight. We could like cast galvanic sleight, but like let's say spell beers up too. So cast sleight, double connives here. Should definitely hit, so. Scarred a phoenix. Scarred a lightning axe. Another Phoenix. Um, wait. I suppose I have a cast. Um, it's late, folks. Cast Cruise. Yeah, two. So I got to play on a spell here. This is fine. Let's impulse mount creature. Combat. Attack, yeah. Two turn clock here. Three, six, eight, sixteen. Yep. All right. I mean, it's been an odd game, I'm not going to lie. I should put the Galvanic, not put the Fiery Impulse. Sure. I, I guess. Uh, all right. So we're going to bring in some hate. Do we have any hate? We got. Gust doesn't really do much. Uh, disputes. Negate. Uh, we want some removal spells. It's funny, it might be as Axe the better one. But can be for our nut draws. Gotta go Proctor, I think. Let's play at least four. We say four removal spells in. Dispute, negate. Gust. Don't really do much, honestly. Pyromancer's not particularly great as far as like a fast clock goes. It's fine. Let's do this. Ice Prism Argument's awful too, right? Let's get rid of this, actually. I'll bring a Pyromancer's extra threat. I mean, it ain't great, but we're going to keep it. I just got lands and an impl uh, lands and an opt. Got the trespass. I hate this card. I will like to say it's like not correct to be in the deck, but I just I cannot stand this part of the deck. All right. Sego. Opt it. Try 
Sure. I'm in. No Lotus Field, please. Do your thing. Look at a stage, sure. All right, so they have a, they're reasonably well set up. And we are not very well set up, honestly, but. Just canter, please. Just any sleight of hand. Oh, sleight of hand, I freaking nailed it. Oh, it's Lightning Helix! Um, oh my god! Slight me. Pyromancer, all right. Uh, not exactly what I was looking for. But it's pressure. Connive. Let's go to Phoenix. Attack for two. Next turn is their stage turn, so we can untap and maybe get dispute stuff going, but we're probably in some doo doo here. You got it, man. You're good. One blue, going to waste. Spell pierce, all right, like, I mean, the good news is that we do have a couple interaction points, and then if we can knive enough, maybe we can get, we can get a of time walk off. This is why reactive counter spells don't play well in this deck, because like, you wanna get your Phoenix back, obviously, and catch your spells proactively, but. Two soft counters in our rule spell. Could definitely see that's just like lightning axing a token or whatever just to get the thing going here. Oh my god. It is Dragon Lord Dramoka. Cannot be countered flying lifelink. Opponent can't cast spells during your turn. I think we're dead. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Does that have hexproof? I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. It doesn't have hexproof. I thought it had hexproof for some reason. It does not. So, um. Yeah, fly, yeah. Yeah, be counter flying life. Sure. So we just go uh, lighting X fire impulse here and do a bunch of stuff. I mean, the Galvanic's cute and all, but probably discarding that. Could Galvanic of the Lightning Axe. It's better for like trying to, you know, let's, go, let's do that. We can try to find a Phoenixes too. So, all right. It's Galvanics. Make a token. Lightning Axe. Discard a card. Target this. Discarding Impulse. Even though Impulse is the cheat spell that I might be able to cast. That's fine, so. There's our opt. I kind of want this time walk, though. All right. So we're, now we're kind of looking for a land. All right, it's all coming up Millhouse. That's about everything we wanted. The problem is, like, you know, they just have a thousand mana next turn, so it might not matter. But mm, your turn. It's all about the one mystical dispute we have. We can make that do something uh, useful for us. They have a lot of mana too, so they guess poor pages, and that could be a thing. Nope, they have the uh, they have Vizier, sure.
That's a good start. Honestly. Spending mana on things that aren't comboing is good for my my one mystical dispute defense. My armadillo cloaks at. Seven total mana, six cards in hand. We got the old guitar. Problem is, I have to keep uh, hitting the button. Which kind of sucks, but. You know, we're not like true F6 here. That's also a really good sign, geez. Balagad Recovery Targeting Vizier. Connive. Okay. Uh, I mean, what could they even possibly hit off of it? Like, all right. Well, I can't uh, target that one, so... Blouses. Um, I mean, Phoenix is great, obviously, but actually really good. I still hate the iteration. It's only one and one now. One iteration, one uh, press pass or whatever. Uh, but either way, it's actually really, really good. It's just super flexible. It's super efficient. Super sweet. So, um, I don't know. Say, you folks, love you like, subscribe. You're all great. Peace. I'm out.